my friends, is how you wallop a wither. Good day, everyone. I am Noxtra, and welcome back to the cosmos for another episode of Mind Craze. Bit of a mixy matchy, switchy ruby episode today, with a few clips from everywhere. But one thing I'm working on is the Batalia. Yay! Finally doing some more work. So. I figured maybe the best way of doing this is to work from the bottom up. So we're going to start by going down into the depth and we're going to make the hold today. Which is, well it's not even a, really a deck, it's the lowest part of the ship right down here. So, the way I'm going to start, we've got another mast that's going to be over there. Uh, I just need to figure out where that goes. So I That'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Sounds right. And it's the same distance, because I checked that earlier. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it actually starts up here. But, got some stuff ready. What we're going to start to do, though, is building the deck above it so that we can see how much space we've got. So from, actually no, from here, there's one, two, three, four blocks, and then the ceiling, which is just four, and yeah, it's left with that dirt there where we marked it off earlier. So this will be the all up deck up here, and we're gonna have to cut some holes into it for stairways and things. But for the moment, I'm just going to fill this whole thing in, and we'll figure the rest out later. And this is how you get up into the sky in a hurry. conventional means, like ladders. It still takes a while, but... And this is how you fall to your death, apparently. When you're sailing in a ship, the last thing you want it to do is to be tipping sideways to the point where it takes on water and everybody drowns and it sinks. So, one feature that ships have is they have ballast in the bottom, and that can come in various forms. Sometimes they just pack the keel and stuff with sand or loose stones, or they use slabs of iron. Lots of times they even have a container that they fill up with water. And also the big thing is that's where they keep all the stores and the heavy stuff, like all the meat and food and everything you need, they always keep down low. So down in the hold is where you'd have things like this. So what we're going to use, well, we're going to have all our chests and stuff for storage, because that's what you do, but we're also going to fill this lowest section up with gravel. Now the other thing about this, this is another thing I just very recently, just earlier, was working on the prototype and adjusting the way I had this down here, because for one, as we've mentioned before with this build, there's a lot of new features since the original prototype, upside down, stairs and slabs, different coloured wood. So we're going to integrate a lot of that. And also, the original prototype, the hold was actually felt very open and spacious, which is not what I think a hold should be. It should be cramped, tight, everything's jam-packed in there. And not, not just packed in, but also structural stuff. To, you know, if we've got this big ship, we want it to stay strong so that we want to have like support beams and stuff going across everywhere. And I'm not sure if this is going to be enough gravel. Oh, yeah, I should do. We can get this silly cow out of here. Why is he even in here in the first place? Go. Move. Fine. Don't. Stay there. Alright. So, there's also... Yeah, we mentioned there's going to be, like, stairs and things and actually ways to get out of here. which we'll have a look at in a sec, but for now, 
The first thing, we have a lot of fences and we're going to run a row of them all along the side. They add a bit more texture to the build. Make it look like little bits of scaffolding, well, scaffolding structural stuff. And this is, there's going to be a lot more of it, this is just the edge bit. And there's a little gap, so you can either just fill it in with wood so it looks smooth, or you have an ugly gap there. Or you fill it in with stuff that makes it look like it's structural. You know what the worst part about dying is? Figuring out what to write on your grave. Hmm. Alright, so next we're going to want some places to store some, well, to have some chests to store things. So, I decided to go with some spruce wood because on my texture pack it has this nice orangey red colour, which is a good contrast from the boringness of the regular oak planks. So, some of those. And we'll need some slabs as well, for some parts, and some blocks. Alright, so this is going to line up all along this bit, because this is, yeah, this lines up with these edges as well. So we're going to have there, 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 there. Stupid animal! So every two blocks. Obviously, now you've got the trap chests, it's possible you can alternate between chap, trap, chap chests and regular chests so that you can stick them all compactly together, but having it like this gives you space to add some more support like structures and things rather than just cramming everything in. So along here we've got chests here and then on top of the shelf and that continues all along, and we'll do the same on the other side in a sec. And then, these big support structures are going to go across the whole thing. Look like they're holding the deck above up. And such. And I think, yeah, it goes two blocks across the top. And in the middle... Oh, that's right, it does this. And then we set a torch in there to provide a little bit of lighting. And we're going to have one here as well, just for the border. Oh, and this comes out too as well. Alright, and then inside the shelves, that's right, the fences also go along the middle. that and this is where we use the slabs and then we can put chests under here and on there as well and if we just do this side you can see how it'll end up looking a little bit structure again, the supports, all the way across the top, and all the way in the middle, leave the gap for the torch, alright, and that's going to continue the whole way down everything. This really is beautiful though, like with, I've got with a respiration helmet, so that removes all the water fog and allows you to breathe, that helps too. And the night vision makes everything light, it's just big empty space, it feels really open, unlike what under the water normally feels like. And you can just float freely around, like flying. Obviously it's really slow, because you're underwater, but it's just feels like so amazing. I can just go fly, wee, 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 wee,
go. How's that look? Mm. Mm, not too bad. So just touching up the back here, there's now these little bits of stairs going up the ladders, which will go up the masts. Brought this down, because that was originally part of the deck, but just to seal that off. And this is what we have, quite a lot of storage space. Not sure, like, maybe some more chests in here would be a good thing. Maybe they have another shelf or something as well. Or just stick chests there. Oh, I apparently did not finish this. That goes like that. Oh wait, yeah, this one doesn't come all the way down because we need to be able to walk through. And I was thinking of just fencing off this middle section because otherwise it's weird and pointless. Now up the back, this is the interesting part. Let's just double check my notes. Yep. So how's it? Oh, where? Where did I put the workbench? Where did I put the workbench? All the way back here. Wait, this is back, right? Is this back or forwards? This is forwards. All right. So go back to the aft. about that or whether we'd have something else in there. Uh, what were we doing? Slabs of the oaken variety. So, wait, was it just the three in the middle? Looks like it was in because there was two. Hello, ocean. I guess that makes sense because of other factors, which you will soon find out. up here, you just got a ceiling here at the moment, but this is going, it, there's going to be stairs of a sort. How far? That's just the next two, I think. Wow. Alright, so up to this level. And then we need workbench. Let's make a bunch. 21. That'll do. Not sure about that. Alright. Maybe I could have gotten a better angle for the screenshot. Is that... Oh, maybe I... I think I might have just had a slab there. We used up all our slabs. Okay. So then dirt, dirty dirt, dirt, and that that's definitely a two thing, isn't it? Yeah. And here, we strip all this bare. Up to, I think it goes up to this wall, or this place where a wall will be, which we said was two here. So right there. And what is it? One, two, three in the middle. And we scare it for this ugly dirt. And then there's a support posts. Just to add a little bit more interest. And they are next to these bits. So there, I believe. Yeah. And they're going to come all the way up to the deck above and be support posts there, I guess. But we'll finish that off when we do the deck above. How's this come? Yeah, so one more like this. Now the question is, how, how do we dress this up? Do we just do like that? That looks alright, maybe not here though. What if we get more of our posts? Oop, not enough. Hmm. 
Alternatively, we could fill the whole thing up with fence posts. Get lost. So, do something like... Well, we could just do it like that, or even get rid of this. Random gaps there might be filled in. Let's see. Yeah, and we also, the other thing we did have was this wall up the back. It was just filled in, and I guess we... Actually, I don't know if that there will be filled in off that part of this. Hmm. Let's ignore it for now then. Come back to me, Wood. We just have to remember it's there. Because otherwise we'll have an empty random spot in our ship for no reason. And nobody likes that. Alright, so what was that? A slab in that corner? Over there. Maybe I... Did I do it like that? Yeah, I think I might have. That makes more sense. Get rid of this guy. We'll have torches somewhere eventually. The other thing we want to think about is... Edges like this, like we could probably make this all stairs. Give it a bit more shape. Even here, oh no, that needs to be. She's linking! That needs to block off that side. So it needs to block off. So we, we could actually have that as a stair here, if we can get it the right way around. And then a slab here. Might have a smoother look here on the interior. Don't know. I'll play around with it a bit. Well, this is just bizarre. There's these random floaty air pockets for no good reason. That's just weird. I wonder if I can fix them by updating the water adjacent to them. Hello? That's just bizarre. is really random. Alright, so I've been messing around with this and I think it looks pretty nice so far. So I've made these stairs out of the jungle wood so it's a little bit darker, which isn't just a nice little touch. And then I did just do the upside down ones there. I've done some smoothing, all the planking around here. I've got some more fences around here just to look like, I don't know, stuff. Workbenches hidden in there. And you come through the hold. Got chests all over the place. One thing that's a little bit annoying with it is, like here you can cross if you want to get to the other side, or you have to go all the way down to the other end. Which means, if you're over here, now I want to get at something on the other side, you've got to go all the way around. Unless, you know, you could come up here, go around and down the other side, which is a bit stupid. But hey, it's jam-packed with goods, that's what you do. Tidied this up, did some more different smoothing here, and more workbenches at the back. So yeah, I think that looks pretty dandy, and I've worked out all the lighting, so no mobs should be able to spawn down here. Like, those ones were enough to do all along here, but along the ends. Don't know if I want to have anything in the middle in that gap there. 
Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? One thing that I think would be interesting to do is just, obviously my planks, plank colours are a fair bit different from the default pack, because my, my spruce is all this orangey colour, whereas the default's darker, and the jungle, in my case, is just a slightly darker thing of the default oak, I should say. That came out weird. But, I don't know. I almost think it needs to be a little bit darker still, just because sometimes it's not obvious when you've done have done a change mixed with some things like for example up here where we had the shrouds connecting like particularly with fences when you've got a lot of shading anyway just from the light you don't notice the contrast so much so maybe I don't know next time I'm adjusting a texture pack which I need to do because there's a few new textures to do as I've done the hardened clay but not all the colored ones because they're new and charcoal thank goodness I can finally make a separate texture for charcoal I just have to Get around to doing it but yeah so but yeah i thought i'd check what does it look like in the default texture pack just for interest's sake it's always nice to check out and see what whoa my eyes what what your stuff would look like to other people for some reason whenever i use the default texture pack i mean i look at the stuff and wow it just looks so gritty and stuff which fair enough the textures are a lot more gritty because there's a lot more detail in them but it's just funny because I lot, watch a lot of videos of other people who use the default pack and that looks fine. So I don't know if it's just the fact that I'm seeing things here that I'm used to seeing in my texture pack. And suddenly the contrast is just like eye grating or what it is. And apparently when I measured this, this was actually wrong because I thought it was supposed to be level with the deck. But anyway, it still looks nice, just a lot grittier. And the contrast there, obviously it's a different contrast because this is a more pinky look instead of just a darker look. But I think that looks alright. Yeah, there it looks a little bit weird. Hmm. You don't... Hmm. Yeah, it looks quite nice though. I always think the fences tend to blend in a little bit more in the default whereas like in mine like particularly like up here where I had it against the wall you don't notice that as much as I did that's the one that works isn't it yeah hello I don't know even here you don't really notice I think it's just because of the fences being next to it but yeah here, for example, though, what does it look like? Yeah, I guess it's fairly similar to the amount of way things blend in. Either way, this doesn't look too bad. The gravel, I guess, looks appropriate. Helps you remember that that is just gravel and stones and stuff that are crammed in there to weigh the bottom down and keep the thing from being top heavy and tipping over. So, that'll be it for construction on the Vitalia for this episode. So next episode we'll move up to the Warlock deck, I guess. Or, maybe not next episode, but next time we do some work on this. I don't know, there's not so much on this particular deck. I'm trying to remember, what was at the fore and aft ends? Along the sides there isn't very much. Well, there's actually quite a lot of wiring and stuff that actually is hidden behind walls and for the deck above. So this middle section, I don't know how that'll end up being. And how much I'll end up adjusting it from the prototype, because again, down, down in the hole, this ended up being significantly different. There's my texture pack again. Like, the way I had it, come on. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, so down here in the hole, this ended up being significantly, like I had the gravel here, but these chests here were just embedded in it, and then I just had other ones sitting in the middle. So all this framework and stuff wasn't there. There were shelves, they looked a bit derpy because they came out all the way and the supports didn't, well, again, originally planning them for before we had upside down slabs and things, so that's how they worked. 
and then, and then everything up there was open. So this is significantly different. I ended up changing that and then able to work with all the corner stairs and things to do all the shaping around here and at the other end. Yeah, it's a nice touch. Yeah, it's still not sure. Like, I might have to go over and do some of those details on the outside as well because where that's all a little bit blocky. But for the moment, it's nice to be able to do that on the inside and, you know, all this is fairly blocky compared to what I ended up doing here. It's a little blocky. And, you know, where you can smooth off things and put just a wall in and just forget about the crud that's behind there and just fill it in. Oops, I fell out a hole, which is white. Is that all purple? There is a purple thing. That's interesting. Under the... Oh, that, that must be the flowing water texture. I was working a second ago. Texture packs. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one, that's why. Oops. Yeah. So I think that was for before they made the water... I don't know, something about the animations. No, that one being older. Anyway. I should mention though that there is a, what I believe is actually a faster way of getting up great heights with a special structure, but it also requires you to use horses, which are a little bit of a pain to use and recycle and stuff in a situation like that. Completely lost my train of thought. Anyway, I'm going to call this the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, learned a little bit about naval architecture I don't know if you call it architecture if it's on a ship but naval ship writing construction or at least well I don't know how all those structure and stuff are accurate to real ships I mean the general concept obviously of having a hold where you store stuff and put ballast in yeah that's legit but actual structural differences yeah whatever so I hope you've enjoyed that hope you found it interesting and informative Maybe if you're trying to build a ship of your own, this will come in handy and you might learn a few tricks. So, thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you next time in the cosmos. Or somewhere else, wherever I am next. Just, just, just go. Bye. See ya. Goodbye. See ya. Later. Have a good one. Ta-ta.